guys, we are an adventure with Nick and Rachel and we bring you the best places to hike and explore in the southeast and more. And today we are in the Elkmont region of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We are about to do Jake's Creek Trail to Avent Cabin. Let's go check it out. many reasons why we love this area of the Smokies is because there's so much history in this area. It's just like remnants of the past all the way up this trail. Um, you can't really see it in the camera but it's like chimney after chimney after chimney. There's like seven or eight chimneys all down this line. Uh, it's just really cool to see this part of the park. So the first part of this trail follows this road and this road actually used to be an old railroad. It was built in 1909 by the Little River Lumber Company when they were logging the area to get workers out here, to get equipment out here, and to get the lumber out of the Great Smoky Mountains. So we're seeing the first sightings of spring in the Smokies and I'm so excited. We've got like the forsythias blooming, the daffodils over by the troll bridge, um, which is in this region. The daffodils are just everywhere and there's all the little purple and white flowers covering the ground. I'm so excited for spring. I love all of those little flowers and all the different colors. It's just so beautiful. So right behind me, right up the trail is um, the house owned by David Chapman. He was one of the first proponents of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And for his work in making that a reality, he was given a lease to this cabin by the Tennessee Park Commission. of the trail um, it starts gradually getting into the elevation gain and you get most of your elevation gain in the first like half mile to three quarters of a mile of the trail and it's 482 feet in elevation gain in total
When we came up here, we didn't expect to find the most comfortable rock seat ever. It's like perfectly curved for your legs. It's got like a little indention for your butt. And then the back is like perfectly curved for your back. I can sit here all day. Yeah, with a great view too. Yeah, and the river running by and just... These people had it made. No wonder why they were <laughs> an artist. Mm -hmm. Let's see that chair. Let's see the shape of it. See, it's it. like perfectly curved. built in 1845 and the Avent family purchased it in 1918. The artist Mayna Trainer Avent used this as her summer studio for 20 years. The National Park Service took ownership in 1932 but the family had a lifetime lease and lived out here until 1992. Mayna Trainer Avent was born in 1868 in Nashville, Tennessee. She studied at the Cincinnati Art Academy and the Academy Julianne in Paris. She worked in woodblock, watercolor, and oil painting, and her art is displayed in a number of galleries, including the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. The National Park Service was successful in adding the Mayna Trainer Avent Studio to the National Registry of Historic Places on February 7, 1994. Sitting on the porch or looking out the large windows of this cabin, you definitely experience the inspiration of this beautiful location. To be somewhere that an artist found beauty in nature and created art and had that inspiration is just so lovely. We really enjoyed this hike and all of the history that came along with it. Thank you guys for joining us. If you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.